Hi, my name's Rory Waterman and I'm here to talk to you for a few minutes about Come Here to This Gate, my new collection. The book has three main sections plus a prologue and a two-part epilogue, all of which have a different take on the book's title, Come Here to This Gate. The title, by the way, is taken from Ronald Reagan's Brandenburg Gate speech, written for him by a speechwriter in his early or mid mid twenties. It's not quite as famous as uh, Ich bin ein Berliner, which obviously happened in the same city. But I'd argue that Reagan also wasn't quite saying what he meant, even if he did say what he meant to say. Um, anyway, I suppose the overarching theme of the book uh, is about knocking up against borders of various kinds, gates that that might not open, but in some glorious cases do. The first section is a sequence in memory of my dad, who died just over two years ago in kind of self-imposed penury and despair with alcohol-induced dementia. It's a sequence bringing together two time periods, and it's about love, above all. Um, Self-criminating, intense, in some senses bitter, and in other senses futile, angry love. But love. Nothing glowed with a gleam, and we were looking right at each other. The second and longest section opens up on a on a variety of themes um, and, and speakers. There are poems set in Korea in this section, um, including the book's title poem, which to some extent is about the the Korean border, um, as well as various other borders and restrictions from the past half century. But the section as a whole is a pick and mix. Um, it's quite varied, very varied, I think. A lot of the book's really about other places, other lives, other states of mind, alternative to my own. Um, this is particularly almost insistently true in the third section of the book, which rewrites some particularly gnarly Lincolnshire folk tales for the modern world. Perhaps more than any previous book of mine, this really isn't a book about me, though I think it has more of me in it than perhaps any of the others. I have to give thanks to everyone at, at Carcanet. Andrew for making the book look exactly how I'd wanted it to, yet somehow better. Jasmine for making things move in the right direction always. And most of all, Michael and John for believing in my work and for taking such care always. I wrote the book all over the place. Uh, going somewhere else always makes me write, even though I don't normally write about where I am. The first poems in the book were written in Korea, where I was a guest of Bouchon UNESCO City of Literature and charged with writing in various ways about the uh, the Korean border as an obvious outsider, a, uh, a rank outsider. Um, only a few of the poems I wrote then made it into the book, but being there kick-started me with, with everything in the book, really. Other poems were written in Kosovo, Albania... Um, Texas, which doesn't feature in the book, but um, some of the poems are written there. Uh, some were written in Lincolnshire, where I'm from, or in a farmhouse in Leicestershire, where I stayed for about six months in 2021. Most were written in Nottingham, um, often extremely late at night, which is kind of my, my favourite time to write, typically, when the owls are out and the people are in. Um, I'm in Nottingham at the moment, I'm in my, my office at home, but uh, none of them were written here because we've just moved. They're written in a tiny little flat close to the centre of town. I don't have a favour favourite poem in the in the new collection, not at all. I'm uncharacteristically smugly proud of the whole book and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening to me.